shop uh, in Wing Town. Typically, when there's no cars, have gone past all day, and just as we start, one goes by. So we're under lockdown. Um, so we're going to do a tour of the shop, uh, and I am going to start by apologising if the sound quality isn't that good. Um, I did promise uh, that between the last one of these live feeds and now, I would have sorted it out. But um, procrastination can take quite take up quite a lot of your time. Um, so anyway, here are the famous uh, concrete spirals, uh, and now we're going to go inside. Okay, so this is the first room in the shop, the front room, um, and we have various sections. So here are the penguins, which look particularly nice. Um, there's cookery behind the camera. Um, ancient history, this is the antiquarian section, or some of the antiquarian section. Behind that, there's maritime history and aviation, military. It's all sort of quite combat-y. Um, uh, and then fiction is here, hardback fiction, uh, and here, over here, we have the Kindle, um, which I shot in, oh god, it's ages ago, 2014. Um, so that's probably the most photographed thing in the shop, uh, apart from Captain, um, who isn't here, he's in the garden. So we'll go on through, uh, and... I'll walk backwards and hope I don't trip over. Um, <laughs> so Shakespeare here, uh, maps, um, and then through here we have the children's section, um, which is fairly full because I recently bought a load of um, about 250 ladybird books, which are all in this column here. Um, uh, so there's not much room for anything else. And then cinema over here. And then on the stairs, I'm not going to go up the stairs. Um, because then I definitely would fall over. Uh, on the stairs we have America, classics, um, arts and crafts, architecture, art, archaeology. Almost everything that happens by sheer chance to begin with the letter A. Uh, <laughs> then sports here. And then here we have letters and diaries. Um, and then here, this bit here is history. This is, this is mainly European history, African history, Asian history, Indi Indian history, um, Russian history. And then British history. Most of this bit here is British history. Uh, so we're going to go on through here. Um, so this section is mainly biography, then you have arcane, exploration, mountaineering, and poetry. Um, and do you want to go over there? And I will... Uh, one of the reasons for doing this live stream is to uh, say thank you to my American publisher um, and uh, all they've done so far, which has been amazing. Um, I was supposed to have a hardback copy of the American edition of the second book, uh, but unfortunately, thanks to the lockdown, um, we're going to have to make do with the, uh, the proof copy. Um, so I'd like to say a big thank you to Joshua um, at Godine Books, who are the publisher. Um, and the book's available <coughs> excuse me, at godine.com and various other outlets. Uh, and it's Joshua's father's birthday today, so happy birthday to Dean. Um, so I'm going to read two very short extracts, don't worry, it's not going to last long, um, and then swap specs. Uh, so this one I was flicking through about 10 minutes ago, trying to find something relevant to read, um, and this seems particularly relevant. Uh, so this is the entry for Tuesday the 10th of March, it's 2015. Uh, so online orders two, orders found two. At 9.30, a vast man in red corduroys marched into the shop and asked me, Tell me, is Whithorn open today? Whithorn is a town of a similar size and appearance to Wigtown. It's about 12 miles further down the peninsula. 
I'm still slightly confused about whether or not a town can be considered to be open or closed unless it's under quarantine, which it now is, as we all are. Um, so the other entry I wanted to read was um, from Friday the 4th of December, online orders, three orders found three. Uh, Nori was in. Nori is somebody who works in the shop. As we were sorting through the endless boxes of books, I found a book called The English Tourist in Italy, which contains the following extremely useful phrases. And I apologise if I've already read this, I might have done. Anyway, in this, this is, I think it was a post-war or interwar um, book of, yeah, in fact it might have even been pre-war. Mm -hmm. uh, so, these are the phrases that uh, it contains. Your niece has very beautiful arms. How old is she? Whose trunks are these? You have eaten too many oranges. You have a cat which is very ugly. <laughs> Mrs. Folly is a beautiful woman, but her daughter is very ugly. You are as studious as my son, but you are not so intelligent as he is. And I am angry with you. So uh, clearly um, the English tourist in Italy um, <laughs> was expecting not probably to have the best holiday ever. So anyway, we'll carry on uh, and have a look at the rest of the shop. So behind me here is the folio section. I have to sort my glasses again. Uh, folio Society, if, for people who don't know, is uh, it's a publisher, very high production standards. And they mainly do reprints. In fact, in fact, I think exclusively reprints, but they're beautiful and they're, you know, they're, people collect them. They're not worth, a, well, some of them are, but they're mostly not worth a huge amount. But, they're beautiful things that you can see. Um, so through here, we have the crime section. <laughs> I know. We have the crime section here, and uh, just there, erotica. Um, and then through here, uh, this is the railway room, uh, which surprisingly is probably the best so railway books are probably the best selling subject uh and um we have i don't know probably about three or four thousand books uh but they're they always sell well so um we have a few other things in here as well like sciences and things um but it's mainly railway so we'll carry on through here into the scottish room so in here we have books either by Scottish writers or about Scotland um, and this bit is sort of antiquarian-ish, uh, there's a lot of, there's a set of Stevenson there um, and then through here, this is the local history bit, mm -hmm. and through here um, these are old, uh, this is an old fireplace that has uh, law reports which I bought from a solicitor in, I can't remember where it was, but you will notice that all over the place there are bits of soot and dust and things, um, because earlier in the week uh, I came down into the shop to find two crows flying around in here who had clearly come down the chimney. Um, uh, anyway, they man I managed to get them out. So Scottish books in here. Um, and then through, finally, to the garden room. And in here we have, uh, this is really all natural history. So gardening, um, nature, ornithology, um, dogs, cats, all sorts of things, agriculture. Uh, and then, um, and shooting, fishing, all, all sorts, basically outdoor pursuits. So that, is the shop basically um but we're going to do one final thing um which is a literary quiz so we'll go through to the uh <coughs> back where we were Okay, so um, uh, there is a prize for this quiz, so whoever is the first to answer will be uh, 
will receive in the post um, a Scottish pound note, uh, which you don't see anymore, uh, and is probably worth literally nothing. But there you go. Um, so the question is, uh, what was Harper Lee's first name? And it's not Harper. So thank you all very much, or both probably, for tuning in. And um, hopefully we'll be doing a literary quiz every day live at five, if we can be bothered. Um, but thank you. Bye.